Well, well, early on, Balanchine was a, a very, very powerful influence. Um, when I went to Juilliard, I also uh, had to work to support myself, and I had a job across the street from the New York State Theater, which was being built. And the night that it opened, I was fortunate to be invited to have a ticket because Anthony Tudor was one of my teachers at Juilliard. And uh, New York City Ballet was actually presenting a dance of his uh, on their opening presentation along with Balanchine pieces. So I did go to that and saw who Balanchine was. And then from that time on, attended those performances ardently and often as possible. And uh, so he was clearly a very, very powerful influence. But I don't think there's any choreographer alive who could not lay claim to that, even if they don't know it. There, there are smatterings of Chicago and, and dance prior to my discovery of of dance as a world I would belong to that I, I could mention, uh, which were in a way incidental and I was recognizing them peripherally, but I think that, that they were building towards something as well. Uh, when I was in high school, I used to super an opera. We were spear carriers and various other walk-ons in opera, but all these operas did feature dance, many of them, and the dance that was being featured was uh, the company of Ruth Page and so I did see those people around, saw them backstage, watched them perform. I was not passionate about what I saw at the time, but it, it happened near me, I saw it. And, uh, and now that I think back to it, I realize that those images are very vivid in my memory, that they were having a greater impact than I thought.